Welcome to An Abiding Word, your weekly devotional word for personal meditation as you abide in the vine of Christ. I'm Bo Fulginetti, and for our first ever abiding word, here's the title of our abiding word here today. When me becomes we. When me becomes we. You know, my devotional time this week, uh, I was reading in Psalm 53. So I suppose most of us know verse 1 quite well. It's, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. I've certainly heard many people use that in defense of the Christian faith. For those that say that there is no God, God clearly says in the scriptures, it's foolish to say so. Because even by looking outside, we can tell that a God exists. But I was really struck this week by verse 5. Verse 5 says, there they are in great terror where there is no terror. In other words, for the atheist who says there is no God, there is constant reason to have terror in the broken world that we live in. Now, let's contrast that with another popular passage I'm guessing that most of you have heard many times. And that is uh, Psalm 23. In verse 4, uh, we hear the psalmist say, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear, fear no evil. Now, why does he say that? The next words are key. For you are with me. For you are with me. So the atheist cannot say that they have no fear. They fear all the time. A believer in the midst of anything can say that they don't fear, for God is with us. I'll give you just one more example. In Psalm 16, verse 8, it says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. So think about the contrast, okay? For the atheist, there's something to worry about even when there's nothing worthy of worrying about. For the believer, there's nothing to worry about even when it seems as if there is something to worry about. And that leads me to our abiding word. In one statement, what I want us to take from these passages here today is this. True Christian joy is not based on circumstances, but by the promise of God's presence in each circumstance. Let me say that again. True Christian joy is not based on circumstances, but by the promise of God's presence in each circumstance. It's, it's plain and clear for those that don't know God, terror lurks around every corner because they have to fend for themselves. It's all about me. For the believer in Jesus Christ, there is peace even in the midst of conflict that's around every corner because it's not about me, but it's about we, that God is with us, that everything that we do, we're doing together. As I was thinking about this particular devotion, you know, I haven't done a, a live devotion before. I've been praying through the scriptures here and I've said to myself, God, it's not me doing this. It's we doing this. I want you to be with me. I want you to speak through me. I want it to be we and not me. So I want to leave you in this devotion with a, a practical point of application. I hope maybe this will be helpful to you. It certainly has been to me. Uh, to go from me to we we need to practice the presence of God in our daily prayers. And one of the ways that we can do that is this. In every activity that we encounter today and in the days ahead, we can pause and we can pray and we can say, God, let's do this together. As I got ready to do this, I said, let's do this devotion together. As you finish watching this devotion and go back to your daily activities, whether it's washing the dishes or sending those emails, Stop for a second and say these words to God. God, I don't want to do this in my own strength. I want to do this in your strength. Let's do this together. As we go to bed each night, let's say, Lord, thank you for being with me today. Be with me now and help me to get a good night's rest. And as I wake up tomorrow, let's do this work together. Again, when we start to pray these things over and over, it's no longer me, but it's we. And we can be like the psalmist, like King David, like he said in Psalm 23. Even as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. For you are with me. And that's today's abiding word. So may you abide in the vine of Christ today and always, because with him you will bear much fruit, but without him you can do nothing. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.